so we've already created all we've already gone through uh creating all of our tables and adding fields to every table and then creating our uh, layouts for our school students and classes now we're going to work it work on focusing on uh, creating and developing relationships between all of our data here the cool thing with this is that usually when you have a database for something like a, a school or a school district maybe wanting to manage all their students and all their grades and all that um, we're going to dive deep into seeing and relating data okay we are at the school and we want to relate this school to a specific uh, to a list of students meaning that we want to be able to select which students are going to the school and then after we know what students are at which school we're going to um, assign each student classes um, that go to that school this can get very dynamic and advanced once you start thinking about how like school system actually works because not only do you have schools and students and classes but you have um, you have multiple teachers teaching the same class, you have multiple teachers teaching the same subject, and then you also dive really deep into um, showing grades for students and having portals for parents to log into. So it can get very, very advanced down the line. So in order to relate, if we want to be able to view a if we want to be able to add students to a table for the school, we do that in a way called a join table, basically meaning that we have the student, we have the school's table and we have the student's table. And we basically want to have a table that joins these two together. And the way you do that is by creating a join table. So we're going to go here and we're going to go to our tables here and we're going to call this one join students. We're going to do join schools and students. And basically within this, we're going to have our own ID. So I'm going to delete these fields. I'm going to create an ID field. Serial number. And then we're going to create a school. We want to store the school, the school's IDFK. IDFK meaning it's the school's ID foreign key, meaning that the ID is coming from somewhere else. We're going to create that one. And then we're going to have the student's IDFK, meaning it's coming from the student's table. So it's the foreign key, meaning coming from somewhere else. So then we're going to go to relationships. And I've given these tables colors so that once I start later on, if I ever copy these tables, so like for an example, I'm gonna hold um, Alt on my keyboard here, and it created another table occurrence. So this is e this is meant to organize your database so that you have these tables related together. And if you wanted to create other layouts for these to be related together, they're still being related up here, but you also create more multiple relationships down the line. These aren't creating multiple tables, it's just table creating multiple table occurrences. So you can relate data in different ways throughout your system. And the reasons why you color code this stuff is because you know that these two are the same exact table students, and you know these ones are the same exact uh, table schools. And you know that by the color. So instead of having to look at all of these, you can just quickly look at and say, okay, these two are the same color, they're obviously the same table which is great. I guess I want to delete those. Okay, so on this schools table here and on the join schools and students table, I'm going to give this a little color here. And that's almost like a blue and red, so maybe we can do a purple just for fun. So I want to I want to store the schools ID and the schools ID of K. And I also want to store the students ID of K, which the students ID. Okay, cool. So now we're going to add this table onto this layout. So this is the this is where you decide where you want to add this data because you can either be on the student's layout and assign it a school or you can be on the school's layout and assign students to the school. So you can do either or, um, but usually in database design, you usually do one or the other. You don't typically do both unless you want to offer your users that flexibility, which is totally doable. So between the relationship of join schools, uh, joining the schools to the joint schools and students, 
I want to be able to allow the creation of records in this table via this layout table. So yes, I want to allow the creation and yes, I would like to delete it. This meaning that if I delete a school, it's going to delete the relationship I have between the student and the school. If I delete that relationship between the student and the school, do I want to delete the student? And this is where it can get very complex. Sometimes you want to, you would typically keep the school, the students um, data because you don't want to lose all the students data for the history of that school. But let's say if you wanted to delete the student, if a join record was deleted, you would click this button over here that says delete related records in this table when they're deleted in this table. Meaning that if the student ID that equals this ID is deleted in this join record, it will also delete that student. We're gonna keep that unchecked for now. And we're gonna go to our layout. So since we uh, design the database uh, relationship structures based off of schools first, we're going to click up here. This is our portal tool. We're going to click and drag. And we're going to allow the deletion of portal records and we're going to allow vertical scrolling. We're going to allow alternate row state. Click OK. And then we want to show, oh, I'm sorry, this actually showed data from students. We don't want that. We're going to delete that. We're going to do that one more time. We don't want to show related records from uh, students, but from joint school students. We're going to say no, yes, and yes again. Okay. And then we're going to add the student's IDFK because we only care about importing the students, and the school's IDFK will always stay the same. So we're going to say that. Click OK. And then this right here, this will be like a drop down. So we need to store an ID in this field of a student. There's a little trick that we can do here. There's two different ways of doing this. So you can do a pop up menu. We're going to add. So we have a, I created a student's value in here already. What we're going to do is delete that. We're going to do a new one called students again. What I like to do, what I've started to do lately with larger projects is um, in my value list, I'm starting to label my value list starting with the layout they are on so that I always know that these, this, I know that this, this um, value list is being used on this layout. And I typically try to create new value lists for every layout, even though if you have it the same, just so that you can stay a little bit more organized, you can find the information a little bit easier. So I'm going to go to my value list here. I want the schools. I'm sorry, I want the students. I want to store the ID, but I'm not going to remember every student by their ID. So I also want to see their full name. And I only I don't really care about seeing the ID. I just want to show the uh, show the value from the second field. Click OK. We're going to click OK here. And then what we can also do is add a button here. And then we need to create a script for this. Change the color. So we're going to go to our scripts menu here. We've already started being organized so that we can go our layout schools. We can do a new script called delete student, or we can do delete related student. And then basically all this is doing is doing a delete portal row. And then we're going to do dialogue on this is going to make sure that are you sure you want to delete this? We're going to drag this over. Don't like the width of that. Let's do 474 maybe. Should be good. Move this over a little tad. Double click on this. The action's going to be perform script. Delete related student. And change the cursor on hover. 
I'm going to drop this down a little bit so that this over here can actually spread across where it wants to. And then what I can also do is add a text called students. FileMaker is very sensitive with just clicking. Okay, I'm going to exit this layout. It says value list missing. Okay, what do we have missing? We have students ID K did not select a value list. So this is hovered. It is a pop up menu, but I didn't select a value list. Click exit on that. And there you go. We get a pop up of all of our students within our database. And now I can start adding multiple students to this database. So that's great. So now we have a school and we know all these students go to this school. So now what we can do is we can get even more in depth on this, but let's say, okay, let's say we want to view this student's record and we want to go to that layout of that student. So what we're going to do, we're going to create another button. View. We'll just click view. We know we're viewing the student. And let's change the color of that. I like the blue. We're going to go control, uh, shift command S to bring this back up. And then we're going to do view student. And basically what we have here is that FileMaker is smart enough to know that we are storing the student ID here. So all we need to do now is go to the related record, get the related record from schools, and we wanna to go to, I'm sorry, not schools, from join students, we want to go to, actually we can't do that. We have to do students and we want to go to the layout students. Okay, great. Click save. We're going to go over here, click perform script, and then view student. Change that on hover. And then before we test this button out, I would like to, I noticed that we did not FileMaker created this table that it was automatically generated. In our file, manage layouts. In this table, I just want to create into an actual table view. Put that in our table folder. Great. Now what we can go do, go to tables, view this, and just make sure they're all being viewed. And you can see how we have five students being related to one school, but we have five records within this joint record, which is nice. And the cool thing is here is that we can also add our related values from schools. So we can add the school name if we like. So you have the school ID of K, the school name, and then also add the students full name. So you can see that this ID goes to this school and you know that these students IDs go to these students, which is great. Let's test out this button now. And you can see how I was on Cameron Musiel and it took me straight to Cameron Musiel's page. So we can go back to lay students. Let's do uh, Wendy. And you can see how it takes me to Wendy. So it's very dynamic, very user friendly, and easy to use. And that's how to create relationships between the students and the schools. Next, we're going to focus on focusing on uh, the students' layout and relating a student to classes now.